In this video, we're gonna take a look at five projects from the community that utilize motion in some really creative ways. And all of these builds are made entirely out of EMT conduit, which is an off the shelf material that you can get at places like Home Depot, Lowe's, Do It Best, True Value, uh, pretty much any hardware and home improvement store that has an electrical aisle. And then the fittings that you'll see are made by us in upstate South Carolina, and we ship those all over the country. And you can combine those materials together to create all kinds of awesome projects, as we'll see. And in this video, we're going to be highlighting some builds that use motion. And this is really cool because uh, you might need motion for all kinds of different things. And uh, these are some creative ways that you can use them. And we're going to highlight them so you can get some ideas. And this first one is from Dave. And this is essentially a shelf that he put together within his greenhouse. And the framework is actually really simple because it's just a simple two-dimensional rectangle using, uh, you know, EMT conduit and then maker pipe T connector specifically to make a two-dimensional rectangle. Just the horizontal pipe on top and the horizontal pipe on the bottom and then just the maker pipe t connectors grabbing on to add those cross braces that support these wooden uh, slats that make up the shelves for the greenhouse but where the motion comes in on this is really cool essentially one of the t connectors is actually sized uh, for one inch emt whereas the rest of them are three quarter inch emt and here he's essentially just got a one inch T connector grabbing onto a short stub of one inch EMT conduit. And this is just resting over top of the piece of three quarter inch EMT. It's a smaller diameter uh, and if it's not an exact perfect fit. So there's still a little bit of wiggle, still a little bit of slop, but it really doesn't get much simpler than this when creating a hinge. And if you're okay with that, you know, wiggle room and extra slop in there, it's, it's a really great idea to do a hinge as we can see here. And Dave was really happy with it. And we can see it where essentially he's got these these chains hanging from the ceiling and those kind of support the front of the shelf whenever this is folded down. But that hinge down there that he made just rotates along the three quarter inch EMT and then just folds down and uh, the whole you know front part of the shelf folds down and then becomes this flat shelf and then there's an eye hook that he bolted through the empty conduit the the three quarter inch specifically and then a chain with the carabiner hooks onto that to support it and hold it in place and that's really awesome here's a good shot of the framework in place and then the one inch t connector also uh, i should have note has the uh, one inch to three quarter inch adapter shim so this piece of three quarter inch emt can connect securely inside of it and then that extends to the front of the frame there with a three quarter inch T grabbing onto it. So really awesome, nice and simple, and just a really creative idea to get some motion in there. So thanks so much, Dave, for sharing this. Next up is a garden enclosure that I have been kind of obsessed with for a while, ever since it was shared, because it's just such an awesome idea. And normally, you know, we see garden enclosures and they have just a simple gate or a door to get inside. That works perfectly fine, but you're still kind of constricted when you open that door and go inside. You still have to kind of move around kind of creatively uh, to get all over the garden. But what um, Steve did in this build was just really fascinating and super clever and he just essentially made it so the wings of the frame can fold up completely as you can see here he's got complete access from both sides of the garden to get in there and uh, can access the plants on the inside and <laughs> this is just really cool and the way he achieved this was essentially making a standard box frame that we see with uh, you know vertical pieces of conduit um, one in each corner of the bed and then those go up and then he just used the 90 degree connectors there to to make the normal box rectangle that we see but what's really cool about this and we'll just go ahead and highlight it here is the vertical piece of conduit as we can see is extending through the middle of the 90 a couple of feet uh, maybe not that far I guess it's, it's like a foot or so kind of hard to tell in the picture but essentially it's just sticking up there a little bit and then he's using the maker pipe adjustable angle hinge connector to grab onto that vertical the top half of the puzzle piece clamp there and then the bottom half uh, we designed this connector so you could leave a little bit loose uh, just this bolt here for the puzzle piece you just tighten it enough to where it grabs onto that piece of conduit but then the end clamp part will be able to hinge within that and so essentially by doing that it just created a really simple hinge mechanism for these panels so all he has to do is just grab this panel and swing it up and then he also used maker pipe T connectors here uh, to be able to make the, the legs hinge down and support this panel once he folds it up. So really cool. And there's other things within this build, of course, that uh, are important if you're building something like this. Uh, but the hinge mechanism is how he did the folding panels. And uh, if you want to check out a full build breakdown of this project, uh, I'll link that down below so you can uh, kind of go if you want to recreate this exactly. But just a really cool mechanism for making a hinging panel. So really appreciate you sharing this, Steve. 
Next up is a patio cover that I love a lot. And this is really cool because we can see here that there's a covered uh, patio area already with the, the roof of the house kind of extending over the patio. But the builder here, uh, Lance, wanted to extend this cover and just add a nice shady area for uh, whenever they're sitting outside. As you can see there, there's some table and chairs. And then whenever this is folded down, it becomes kind of a privacy screen for the patio. So it kind of doubles as both things here. And this is really simple project and just a really awesome idea. And essentially it's just another two dimensional rectangle um, that we can see here in this photo uh, with just maker pipe T connectors uh, that we looked at from uh, the first project uh, where it's just simply a square or rectangle, just two dimensions with that T connector, uh, really easy to make those. And then the way this hinges is with the uh, maker pipe adjustable angle flange. So it's a very similar part to the adjustable angle hinge, except the top half is made to attach to flat surfaces as opposed to another piece of conduit. And so by spacing these two pieces apart from each other slightly, the end clamp can rotate inside of those two pieces that normally clamp around it and you know can also secure it at an angle if you um, completely tighten it. But that's how he made this hinging mechanism where essentially uh, he can just let this rest and fold down as we can see in this photo here. And then whenever he wants to extend this up, I think he just makes it so these, these legs that are in the front, he just stores them somewhere else. And then he just brings them over and then puts them in the T-connector and those extend down to the ground to support it. So the hinge is kind of always free and able to move. And what's securing it in place whenever he's got it in this kind of shade mode is just the legs that are coming out of it, which is nice and simple and a great technique for making a hinge. And this is just an awesome project. We also have a build breakdown of this build. If you want to see exactly how to make this. I'll link that down below also, but really cool Lance. Thanks so much for sharing this idea. Next up is a build from Paul, and this is a kayak cover that he put together. And as you can see, it goes down to cover the kayaks and then goes up uh, to be able to access the boats that are underneath. And this is really cool. And this is a nice and simple uh, way to do this. We did a video featuring this technique a long time ago uh, that I'll link down below, but essentially it's just these blocks of wood that he has attached to this metal building here. And then he's got some eye hooks uh, directly threaded into those pieces of wood. And if you just get an eye hook that has a large enough diameter for uh, whatever size conduit you're working with to be able to run through it, then you can essentially just rely on that opening to be able to create a hinge. And then you can kind of build your frame around it. So you can see there the T connectors on the outside of that eye hook. So it's kind of latched in place uh, or kind of locked in there. So you don't have to worry about it sliding completely out, or you might want to be able to slide it completely out, which is pretty cool. And you can use that uh, for creative things. But essentially it's just a nice and simple way to do this where you just use some eye hooks in the EMT conduit running completely through it. And then you can just rotate it exactly how you need it. And I think he said he uses a cable tie that goes up to another eye hook up there. Yeah, we can see here where essentially just uses that to just pull it and just uh, hinge the whole cover up. And then he ties it off and is able to get the boats out from underneath and just nice and simple, really inexpensive way to make a hinge and just a really great idea. So thanks so much, Paul, for sharing this awesome build. Last but not least is a build from Jasper, and this is another garden cage. And this is really creative and is very similar to the other garden cage that we talked about where it kind of uh, goes against the grain and does something um, unique where it's not just a simple gate to get in there. Uh, this is actually made to the whole thing folds up where essentially the front panel and the top panel fold. And this is done by utilizing hinges that we've talked about. And we often see these used for their, those simple and singular doors to be able to get in enclosures but this is used uh, where there's two sets of hinges used in conjunction to kind of create this setup where essentially the back of the frame has a set of hinges on it. And then where the top panel and the front panel meet is also another set of hinges. So instead of this just folding uh, in one way, it kind of folds up where you can fold the front panel up against the top panel and then fold both of those up. So you're, you're not just kind of constrained when you walk in here to uh, have to crouch down underneath the roof because both panels are hinging out of the way. And this is made with a lot of T connectors and kind of similar to the other builds we've seen where it's just a two dimensional panel with T connectors. And then uh, those are just made to hinge and attach to the rest of the enclosure. And we've got another build breakdown of this project as well. If you want to learn exactly how to make it step by step and uh, kind of recreate it or utilize some of the techniques in your own builds. But this is a really fantastic idea and just uses two sets of those aluminum PVC hinges that are made for PVC and they go around and kind of snap on PVC. But um, it's not exactly a great fit around conduit, but because it has these holes drilled 
already in it, you can add self-drilling screws or do what Jasper did and just add a bolt all the way through it. And then that's a nice and simple hinge, not too expensive. And you can do really cool stuff as we can see in this project. So really cool. Thanks Jasper for sharing this. And thanks to everybody for posting these ideas. These aren't the only awesome builds with motion in them. Maybe we can do another roundup. And if you have any specific ideas or questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.